Hi guys, it's Dawn from Let's Make a Mess Today. How are you doing? So I just thought I would turn on the camera. I'm just so sure that I'm out as far as I can be. Yeah, that's better. Um, is it better? I don't know. Anyway, I thought I would turn on the camera and just show you what I have to begin my watercolor journey. I haven't done anything at all as far as watercolor goes, but I got a few um, supplies together, a few things that I bought on Amazon, and I'm going to uh, link those below for you. And um, so, yeah, I'll just link those in case you're interested in starting this journey with me. And uh, believe me, it's, it's going to be a hit or miss journey. I'll do it occasionally, not all the time, but it's just something I wanted to try to do. So let's just kind of look at what I have and what I what I'm planning. So you always need like a towel and a and a and a paper towel to wipe your you know like your brush off. So I have that at the ready. Um, Val sent me this watercolor um, journal with oh, isn't this great? Um, it's a lay flat watercolor sketchbook. Look at that. And um, it's cold press watercolor. So, okay, cool. With glue, so it's a cold press, which is good. So let me tell you what I know. I don't know a lot. That's what I know. The cold press is bumpy and hot press is smooth. And a lot of people, and Emma, who I've, who I've been watching online, says that she likes the cold press better because it takes the water better. And also she likes the... 140 bond, is that right? Um, why do I think 140 for something? Let's see what this one says. Yes, one, one, 140 pound. So these are what I have. This has been in my stash. I must have picked these up somewhere. I did not buy any of these. These were all in my stash, and so I'm gonna use these up. I really would like to try, these are all basically the same, inexpensive watercolor. Um, and you can see where I was playing a little bit. I was actually swatching some of these. But anyway, um, but I swatched it on something else, I thought. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, I was swatching it on here. See? And I messed it up. But anyway, so what I was saying is I'm a beginner, so I'm starting with this watercolor paper. But Emma has said that using 100% um, cotton watercolor paper makes all the difference in the world. So eventually someday I'm just gonna buy some 100% um, cotton, but I'm looking for it at Mecca, which is that place in Eugene where you can get art supplies for super cheap because they're basically used and have been donated. So I'm just gonna keep my eye out there. I'm not gonna buy like anything. This was donated to me by one of you guys a long time ago. I don't know who, but these are metallic watercolors. And these are the Paul Rubens. So I've played with them a little bit, you can see, but somebody sent these to me. One of my sub subbies sent me these. I don't know who. I You know, I should start writing on the back of stuff who sent me things, but I just don't. Oh, and this is another thing that has been in my, um, this is just something that I picked up. Um, so this is, again, the, um, cold press, I think. Yes, this is cold press. Doesn't say if it's, yeah, this is 140 pound. So that's the kind that I guess I'm getting started on cold press. So, so I have a little bit, I have a little bit of watercolor paper to start me out on my journey. So I'm so excited about that. Now let's talk about the paint. I already showed you this paint that I have. And I just recently bought this one, and this is, I'll put this in my, um, in my um, Amazon store if you want. It comes with a water brush. I don't know where that is, but I took it out. But I started to swatch this, and you can see it's very opaque. It's real, um, but we'll play with that. We'll play with that some more. And then I'll show you the other paint that I got. Um, this one, no, no. So, okay, so let's move this aside. So that's just, this is empty. This is what the brush is gonna do. We'll talk about that in a moment. But this, okay, let's talk about this paint first. So this is this paint. Oh, and there's some more paper. This paper came with this kit. So now at Michael's, I picked up this kit. It has like a board on it, which I might use. 
and some watercolor paper. And it, since I don't know much about it, but it does feel cold pressed because it's bumpy. But I started to swatch these colors. So I, you start out in the square, really dark, and then you just pull it over to see like an ombre. And then I wrote down what they cut, what colors they were. So you can see here, I've got some, some of those edges that you're not supposed to get that, you know, that happens when you're, when you're a newbie. But these are these, and these are called Art Smith. These are very inexpensive, but I actually like them. I thought they were really pretty. So today what I'm going to do, so with these, what I've learned, and I'm just trying to share some of my things that I've picked up online, is that if you use them wet out of the tube, like on a palette, you tend to use too much color. So what you're supposed to do, and I never knew this, is you're supposed to buy a watercolor palette. And I bought this off Amazon and I will link it below. But I bought this palette and so what you can do and what we'll probably do together today, because how I made this was on a, 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 I just put it on a wet and I just used it and then put it back, you know, and wasted all that, all that. But today I'd like to put this palette in here. So what you do is you, um, you know, you put the colors in here that you like and you do it by the rain, you know, the rainbow, you know, so that you don't make a mud. But I'm just going to put maybe a few on here, you know, um, today. So you can hang out with me while I just do this real quick. And then you let them dry, right? So then you let them dry. And um, so I think that's pretty cool. I got to get some blues in here. I don't know how this, I don't know how the color will go, but. We'll just start with that. Purple, blue phthalo. So I want to do that to start. So because I want to start, I want these two dice. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So we're gonna have more paint than we do slots, but that's okay. So I just want to see how this goes. So what you do is you put it in here and then you let it dry. And um Maybe another blue. Maybe we'll get rid of. I should like that green. Oh boy, I don't know how I'm gonna make up my mind. Can you put two in the same thing? I don't know. One, two. I don't know. Let's just do this, you guys. Let's just do it. Burnt sienna. Probably need that. Uh, yellow ochre. Probably need that. Probably need red. Burnt umber. Gray, you can make gray, right? You can make gray, you can make blue. Chinese white, you can probably go without that one. Rose, violet. So now I gotta make up my mind, and this is black. So we'll leave those in here, and I gotta figure it out. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 18, I said, right? So. Mid yellow, maybe we can get rid of that one and just use the yellow and the orange. Um, three, six, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, I think we're going to be good. So let's just start here. So I guess you just do this and you stick them in a stick it in there like that. Like, I don't know. So there's that. Lemon yellow. Can I try to turn this on a little bit better for you? Maybe not much. And then maybe this orange. I don't know. Do you shake this? Do you smush it? I have no idea. Like that. that feels a little thicker. Vermilion. What's this one? Yellow ochre. And then you just, okay, I think I tried to say this 10 times and didn't finish my thought. Then you let, let this dry overnight, right? And then it is, um, um, better to work with it this way. So we're going to try it. So I thought I'd do this with you. This is my way of trying to figure this out. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I have no clue what I'm doing. Here, let's wait on this one. 
I think we should get that red in here. Did I just do that? I don't know. This is crimson red right here. I probably should be writing this down, but it's not going to matter right now for a while. I actually really liked the way that this worked on this paper. So, yeah. Turn umber. Okay, wait. Violet. Oh, that violet too went with blues. Oh, well. Oh, that wasn't very good. That's okay. My bad. My bad. <clears throat> Ultramarine blue. Am I putting too much? <laughs> I guess I'll find out. Is there do I have left? I love that color. That's cerulean blue. And anytime I see cerulean blue, I think of um, the Devil Worth product. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Because she says, oh, to you it's just blue, but to me it's cerulean blue. And that ugly sweater you were wearing, that was picked for you by so-and-so and so-and-so. So there we go. I just want to get this in here and get it, get it dry because I want to see how it behaves. Mm -hmm. I haven't actually watched anybody do this. They just said to do it. So that's why I don't know if I'm doing it right. So I suggest if you want to do this that you, um, Go watch a real video. <laughs> this is just hanging out with me, which is great. I'm having fun. Okay. I love this color. Aren't those pretty? Okay, so there's that. Okay, so we're going to put that aside and let that dry. Isn't that pretty? So that's these colors. And these were called Art Smith. And these, again, came from Michael's. But I'll see if I can find them in Amazon. And it came with this whole thing. I had to buy this separate. So I'll put some links down below for you. So I'm gonna put this over here and let it dry. Keep it out of the way so Misty can't get a hold of it. Put it up here. There we go. All right. Okay, so we talked about paint. And the palette, we probably don't use this anymore. Okay, and we talked about paper. And now these brushes. I bought these brushes. Um, they're called Artegria. And they were pretty nice. They're, they're faux squirrel, I think. You know, but it had every color or every, every brush you could want. And I just love how they feel. And they really feel nice. I've used this already. Yeah, this one I've used already to do my swatching. So speaking of swatching, let's do a little bit of swatching with these brushes. We'll do it on here and we'll use this one. Oh, I don't have any water ready. So what you need is two things of water. You need one, one for this is going to be a big swatch. I don't want to swatch on here. Do I want to finish swatching on here? Oh, sure. Why not? This is not a very good swatch, but color sure does ring true, though, doesn't it? Look at that. Look how close that is. Very close. Oh, good. This has it, too. Anyway, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we've got four more carmine, ruby red. Okay, so let me, I'll be right back and I will go get some water and we'll go ahead and, um, watch these just 
kind of like I did already. I'd like to swatch them better, but I do need to have this swatched so I can leave it in here. So I'll be right back. Okay, we are back. We have our water and we're ready to swatch this. I'm gonna go ahead and just swatch it on here because I do want it for this. So it's not really a true swatch, but it is, it is what it is. So I'm just gonna wet the brush. You can see I've used this brush before because it's already got a little pink. I don't know if you can see it. But now I could spray this with some water, but I don't know where my little water bottle is. So I'm just gonna go ahead and um, just really wet it and really make it um, just saturate it with some water and get a nice little puddle going there. Doesn't have to be much to do a swatch. So, yeah. So this is, I started at the bottom so I can just throw red. Isn't that pretty? I'll come in a little bit for you. Can you come in a little bit for you in case you're curious? There we go. That is rose red. And then what I think I'll do is I'll have a piece of paper over here that I can just, you know, um, you know, make some marks on with it before I waste. I don't want to waste it. Yeah. And we'll, we have one for the dirty, the clean, and then one for the clean. It's not good. So, yeah. Let's clean it up, probably. Yeah. So now we can go in here. And we're going to go to Matter Red. Ooh, Matter Red. Don't get mad. Get Matter Red. So Mally just went out with Hamish. They had a good day. It's a nice dark red, isn't it? They had a really good day. They um, they played, and they um, they're on a leash that does um, both of them at the same time. <laughs> they're so freaking cute together, you guys. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. And now we're going to do the ruby red. I actually love this color. It's pretty nice. It's nice and opaque. You know, it's pretty. And then we're going to do the carmine. Oh, wait. That's okay. I'm going to waste a little bit of paint. And number four, Carmine Red. So by swatching, for me, it's really good because you get a little bit more knowledge of what colors are what. I, To me, it's like red, yellow, and blue. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm not like, I don't know the different cadmium red versus vermilion. You know, I don't know those differences. So it's good to, to do this, So you know, to swatch it up and to see those differences. So... No. All right, so let's stop at the top. We have violet red now. This is where I get confused because you have to count. <laughs> and so far, these brushes aren't leaving any bristles anywhere. Um, you know you have really cheap brushes. When I was taking that Chinese ink class, which I'm not taking obviously anymore because it just wasn't me, but I learned a lot. But the brushes that I did buy there, these brushes, boy, did they lose their, and they're plastic. They lost, boy, did they lose their bristles. So that was no fun at all trying to um, paint with those. Violet red. Look at the mess. Look at the mess she's making. And there's the E star, you go down and you come up. That's how you make a leaf. 
start and come down and come up. I got lots to learn. Let's just hope I have the time to learn it, <laughs> you know? Let's just hope we have the time. And then the second one is fresh purple. That's okay. <coughs> Nice puddle. Sorry if my lighting's not very good. It's a dark day here today. Dark day here today in Eugene, Oregon. Yeah. I love um, swatching colors. I know. Do you? I think it's a, it's relaxing. So we're on the third one down, and this one is deep violet. Pretty. So you use one for dirty water and then one for clean. I learned that in Chinese in each class. So that was a hard lesson to learn. I was like, why is my water so dirty? Because she says, because you're using the wrong water. I'm like, oh. So this one is light sky blue and I can already tell this is gonna be a favorite. This is pretty. Very pretty. And again, I'm going to put the um, links down below to the classes or the um, people online. They're free. I'm sure they have classes, but um, I'm just going to put a link down below to the to the inspirational people that I'm like watching when I can, you know, online. You know, what is that? <laughs> okay. That's what it is. It's a nice brown paper towel. So yes, this was kind of a, a little gift to myself this year, is starting something new. Um, again, I did try to take the watercolor class at the River Road um, Community Center here in Eugene, but the lady was like, well, I'm really not into beginners. <laughs> She made it very clear that the beginners in her class were not welcome. <laughs> and so I was like, okay, well, thank you. So, yeah. That's a pretty blue. What was that called? Sky this is not sky blue. Oh, yeah, this is sky blue. I like that. What pretty. You know, my mother played with watercolor a little bit. You know, I didn't, you know, I didn't, I didn't think about it too much, you know, but yeah, she loved it. My mother was pretty artistic. She, she could draw, you know. I remember when I was a little girl, I'd go, Mommy, draw me a horse. Mommy, draw me this. Mommy, draw... But, um, so, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. But I can't draw. Oops, wrong, wrong one. So, there's that. <laughs> But I can sure make a mess, and that's all that matters. You know, you don't have to draw. You know, I always say that, you know, in my online when I'm playing with you guys, because I didn't think I could do anything, but I can sure make a mess. And if you appreciate texture and color, 
then grab something, make a mess. Don't, don't feel like you can't, you know? Don't feel like you can't, because you can. You can make a mess. See, I just made the little flowers. And you can make them like sideways flowers too, then, you know? Right? I don't know what I'm doing, but here goes. Ooh, I know. Oh, it's too late, it's too, too dry. Dry brush. How fun is that though? Okay, now I gotta. What number, what color is that? So one, two, three, four, five, six, six, and so this one. And this one is called Cobalt Blue. Oh boy, that brush is so wet right now. Way too wet. <laughs> Look at all that. See, and that's when, when it's wet like that, you'll get those edges. Because I'm not paying attention. But that's okay, I don't care. We don't care. I'm just learning. I'm just learning, so. This brush is dry now. I'm just trying to get what I can out of it. Now we're going to do ultramarine. So I, I'm hearing online that one of the biggest problems for beginners, well, I think and advanced watercolor people too, is the control of the water and how much water to use, you know, when, like you see, this is way too wet, but we don't, I don't care. Honestly, I don't care. And you can actually pick it up. Like I could pick that up, you know, with the brush, but I don't, I don't care right now. Cause I'd like to see what it looks like all dark anyway. I don't, you know, <sighs> it is what it is. But this is pretty. And what's this called? Ultramarine. How about if I do it that way? That's pretty. That's pretty. Now we're gonna go turkey blue. Turkey blue. So there's one, two, three, four, yes, turkey blue. Impression. Prussian blue is after this. Can you guys see what I'm trying to stay in? Ooh. Okay, I can already tell you that's a favorite. Look at that. Look at how bright that is. My coloring's not, my lighting's not very good, but that's a favorite. Prussian blue. Ooh, we'll remember that. I'm just making little flowers. I don't know why. Because I can. So Mally's pretty tired today. She went out with her boyfriend. They went for a walk. I think I told you on one of those strap things. Oh my gosh, so stinking cute. They are adorable together. They really are something. So the next one is, well, that was turkey blue. Ah, okay, the next one is Prussian blue. Boy, I'm sorry if I messed you up there. Here we go. 
This is Prussian blue. Well, I definitely like turkey blue. Prussian blue is darker, like by a lot. I love this tip. Look at that. Look at that tip. Love these brushes, you guys. I mean, I don't know anything about brushes, but I like what these feel like. You know, like there's some control. You know? Love them. Okay, now let's do Payne's Gray. And by the way, Val, I can't wait to do some flowers in here. This is going to be a flower, my flower, I think my flower um, watercolor journal. Oh my gosh, did I? <laughs> Cane's gray, and boy, did I overdo it on the water. I did, I did. That's a cool gray. I like that gray. Okay, let's wipe that off. Now we're doing yellow green. Mm -hmm. well, that's a bright green, isn't it? Feels like need a little bit more water, but oh, that's pretty. Pretty green. All right, the next one is tree green. Where did I put my fingers in? I don't know. Oh, I think I put my fingers in that. <laughs> Can you guys see I have my candle going here today? It's really chill right now. Really a chill day right now. So true green, okay. I guess the fun part of getting new watercolors is to swatch them. I enjoyed swatching those other ones. However, I did realize that I was, it felt like I was wasting a lot of paint um, because I was taking them straight out of the tube, you know? So that's called true green. Pretty good. I have to tell you, I think these are opaque. I like them a lot.
Right? And the next one is hooker's green. Excuse me? Who are you calling a hooker? <laughs> I've never heard that before, you guys. That's funny. Hooker's green. Have you ever heard that before? I have not. I'm shook. Here, if I do this, maybe. Mm -hmm. I'm going to sneeze. Hold on. Oh, let's hope I remember to cut that. If not, I apologize. Apologies, apologies. Okay, hooker's green. Actually, I need to stay this way, otherwise I'm going to get um, messed up. Okay. Oh, that's a lot of water. There we go. This better be pretty. <laughs> right? This better be a pretty color. And let's see. Oh, it is. That's really pretty. Vibrant. That's pretty. That's a pretty color. I love it. It's a good color. Okay, the next one is Deep Hooker's Green. Oh my goodness, what a name. So that's the third one. That's Deep Deep Hooker's Green. Now these are not expensive, guys, so just FYI, by the way. You can't expect a lot. They're not not wicked expensive paints so but i'm i'm thrilled personally because it doesn't take much to make me happy <laughs> just does not just does not take much to make me happy you know watercolor dries um it dries um we call it um, transparent, more transparent than when it goes down. Okay. Ooh, the next one's gonna be emerald green. So let's check that out. Emerald green. Nope. Fourth one down. And if you have any um, watercolor, oh, that's stunning. If you have any, I got to put way too much water on that. Look at, right, it's gonna puddle right in the middle, make a big mess. That's okay. If you have any watercolor experience, let me know. So what did I say this was? This is emerald green. Okay. It's really bright. And the next one is olive green. Water down deep in this brush. There we go. There we go. Now we're going to do olive green from here. And it looks like an olive green. Nothing fancy. Nothing fancy schmancy about that. Let's just go ahead and make some more grass type marks here just because. There we go. Just, I'm just playing with it. And yellow ochre, which is one of, oddly enough, it's one of my favorite colors. Isn't that funny? I actually really like yellow ochre. I never thought I would, but I really, really do. So 
I think I have enough watercolors to last me a while, and I've got some good brushes, and this, I think I'm off to a good start. Ooh, I love that color. I don't know what it is about yellow ochre, but I love it. Love it, love it. It's just pretty. Not much room left on here, is there, guys? have yellow sienna. We're almost done guys. <laughs> I know it's like watching paint dry, isn't it? <laughs> but I'm excited. I'm really excited. So then we have one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. So now we have yellow sienna. Ooh, that's pretty. That's really pretty. Isn't that pretty? So, basically what I'm doing is I'm just kind of dragging it around the sides here. Don't have much on this brush this time. There we go. Oop, wrong one, wrong one. Okay, now I'm going to do Sienna. Look how clean this water is staying. And then you have the dirty brush water. Big difference. So it's amazing how much you can get off in here. And then when you put it on here, in here, it's good. Isn't that funny? Okay, so the next one is one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Sienna. I am a true beginner. <laughs> Not kidding. Someday I'll swatch, swatch the metallic, but not today. I'm sure you guys have had enough swatching today. I'm putting a lot of water on it, doesn't it? Oh, that's pretty. Mm -hmm. I like that. So that is Sienna. Sienna, Sienna. one is burnt sienna and again I'm going to go ahead and put these brushes and the paints in the description box down below they're in my Amazon shop I think I still have an Amazon shop it's not a not a big deal <laughs> I don't use it much um, you know it does I, I should say it doesn't get used very much from my subbies but if you want to it's there for you it's there for you Burnt Sienna, just a brown, kind of a brown. Mm -hmm. And the next one is Van Dyke Brown. Now see, I've never heard of these colors, have you? I mean, really, I have never heard of Van Dyke Brown before. I mean, burnt sienna and phthalo blue and all that I've heard of, but we didn't even have phthalo blue on this. Which one would be considered phthalo blue? I don't know. I don't know. Boy, that paint's gray. Oh, no, that's Prussian blue. Okay, so this is Van Dyke brown. So it's pretty dark. It's a pretty dark brown. Okay. Pretty dark. Yeah. And burned brown. Let's go with burned brown. And then one more after that, we're going to call it a day. Thank you for hanging out with me while I swatched today. Yeah, it's kind of a nice, relaxing thing to watch, isn't it? I think burned brown. It looks very similar, it's a little darker. <laughs>
And then a coal black. That one is pretty self-explanatory. Let's see how black it looks though. Really, I'm down here rubbing it in as best as I can. There we go. Got water. I like pan colors because I mean, you know, they're just they are what they are. They're not going anywhere. So it's going to be really interesting for me to try that palette. I'm kind of, I'm a little nervous of this palette. You know? There's the black. All right. So that's it. So here, let's go. On my piece of art. <laughs> Let's come out a little bit for you. So I can say goodbye. There we go. All right, guys. So, yes. Yeah, so just a kind of a mess. And then, so this was fun. So now this is going to stay in here. And I'll kind of know, really. Um, but it's going to be like this way. They did it wrong. It should have been like white, violet, or white. I don't know. It's okay. I'll know. As long as it's up, upright, I'll know, you know. Yeah. So, anyway, so we're going to leave this to dry. And then that's it. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today, you guys. I had a really good time swatching these and um, playing with them. And uh, I'm looking, oh, I'm. this comes with the, this is Artegra. There's 10 watercolor brushes in here. There's Synthetic Squirrel. So this comes with them. So um, again, these are going to be linked down below. All right. Thanks so much, you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying this. It's going to be fun to watercolor with you. All right, you guys, it's going to be an interesting, it's going to be an interesting, messy fiasco. That's for sure. Thanks for watching, you guys. You take care. I'll see you soon. Bye, guys. Love you.